Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop. Yeah, trust me, this is a nice one. So we have a 17 inch screen, uh, i7 9 gen, and uh, NVIDIA RTX, yeah, and also 144 uh, uh, hertz display. So this is a nice one. It's a predator. Okay, the problem with this one, the customer is saying the laptop is not turning on. Okay, so I will say, let's start. Take out the back cover and have a look inside before we are plugging the power, yeah? Okay, so the back cover is out. And this looks like a nice motherboard, right? Do you see anything wrong here? Anything what could uh, help us to fix this quickly because it's like a Sunday evening? I will say, okay, the battery is unplugged. Okay, that can be a reason why. Uh... Yeah, let's check the main power L. Yeah, main power L. You have capacitors, you see? Main power L, zero ohms. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about that? Zero ohms power L. Doesn't look good. This is a big laptop, you know, probably the charger is like, let me check. Yeah, it's not that big. It's like 10 amps charger. But yeah, let's see. Still, you know, there are 10 amps. 200 watts charger. In the worst case, can be, can be the CPU MOSFET, and now the CPU has like zero ohms. If the GPU MOSFET is gone, then we are removing the MOSFET, the laptop should still work with the uh, uh, integrated graphics in the Intel. Okay, so the heatsink is out. Uh, let me grab the power supply, let's push some current. With low voltage, obviously, low voltage. Yeah, like 0 0.9, that's a decent amount of voltage. Just, you know, just to stay on the safe zone. Now let's come on the capacitors where we checked, uh, it's actually short, it's taking 1.7 amps, good. And what is getting hot? Wait, what? What is that? Huh? A hole, a screw hole. Let's have a look under the microscope because this is strange, you know what I mean? You think the bore layers are gone? Can be, can be. I mean, this hole is getting hot, you know what I mean? For some reason. What is here? What is this? <gasps> fell down and this is this is burn board so check here so actually here is burned board you see so does mean this is ground clearly this is ground and the plus track is coming here lol okay let's come with current and try to see if we can remove this short but the odds are not very great It's still short. Ch check on the short. Check, check on the short on the screen. L you see how the current is changing based on what I'm doing here? So it's like 200 milliamps, you can see 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps, let me come with the, with the thermal camera. We can see 20 milliamps with this camera. Let's raise the voltage because here has, has to be like 19 volts. 
150 milliamps is still in the hole. You can see it? I mean, how? It's not on the hole. One second. It's not on the hole. It's next to. So actually, it's here. Let's have a look there. So that thingy is here, and here you can see it. Check, 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 check. We still have some burnt track there. I mean, I know for you it looks like, you know, a caveman digging on the, this motherboard. But it's no other way, you know what I mean? There is no other way. It's just, this is like cancer, you know? You have to clean everything, take everything out. And you can only hope it will work. I can only hope there are no other trucks on this side of the board, inside, inside of, of, uh, of those layers. I can only hope. Yeah, that black thingy, yeah, that's the one. Okay, let's check now. It's taking no current, nothing, nothing is fixed, is repaired. I can't believe we fix it. Wow. Ooh. This this was one of the hell job, you know what I mean? I mean, this kind of job, ju just to understand, this kind of job has 99.9% .9 chances to not be solved. <laughs> so actually, the customer is quite lucky, quite lucky. Okay, we need to pass the voltage here. We need a we need a solid wire because here is a lot of current. Uh, I don't want yeah that bridge. I don't want it. Good, perfect. So we need a wire to go. Here. Yeah, we need some flux. Let me grab some flux. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now the question is, it will work or not? That's the question. That's the question. Let's see if it's short. No, it's not short. Well, I got scared. The, the, the multimeter B, probably the capacitor got charged. Yeah, the capacitor getting charged. I can't believe. Let's quickly use the, put the heat sink and test it. Let's see if it's working. Okay, great. So we don't need fans. We need a charger, three amps, 3.2, and it's going off. Why? It's working. I can't believe. I got scared by the sound. I don't know. This, this is making some weird sound when it's starting. <gasps> it's working. I can't believe. But you know what? I was so concentrated, and then the laptop started making that noise. The start, it has some startup noise. And it's working perfect. Yeah. Obviously, the battery is not plugged in. 
but it's working great. No fans. So, it's fixed? Yeah. All what we have to do is clean, come with some uh, UV uh, gel, and we are done. We have the UV light. And it's working perfect, and you can see charging the battery. Everything is fine. Okay, so I'll stop now. Say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.